Turkey does not have to be boring. If you're tired of serving up that same boring turkey every year, here's your new turkey. The skin is money. Money, honey. Wow. Thank you for stopping by Blessed Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be cooking up an orange ginger spice glazed turkey on the pit barrel cooker. We're going to start this video off with a brine I made last night. We'll kick this off with bitter orange juice, regular orange juice, two bottles of a good high quality ginger beer, kosher salt, rosemary, thyme, and sage, cinnamon sticks and bay leaves, pickling spice, chopped fresh garlic, one orange sliced, Chinese five spice, stir this up a bit, two bags of sweet wild orange tea, put that in here on the stove it goes. And I'm going to bring this up to a boil, then remove it from the heat and let it cool down. Okay, the brine is completely cool now and you can hear the crickets now. I mean, I let it cool for a few hours. Here's my turkey, I'll show you the turkey. This is actually really good. I have the turkey in a brining bag, so this is a bag that's specifically designed to brine a turkey, so it's all food grade. And I have that in a bucket, which is not food grade. This is just a bucket, I got it Napa Auto parts, so you can get them at Home Depot, whatever. So make sure if you're going to be using a bucket like this that you have a food grade bag that you're putting the bird in. So I'm using a pitcher to pull, pour the brine in. And this is the biggest pitcher I have, so it's probably gonna take a couple more runs before it's full. Right now, as you can see, the bird isn't completely submerged, so I have here some distilled water. And I'm just going to pour in enough of this until the brine completely covers this turkey. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and seal this, put it in the fridge. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now here's our turkey, a little over 18 pounds. After I removed this from the brine this morning, I rinsed it off really good, blotted it dry with paper towels. Next thing we're gonna do is hit it with a little olive oil. Since I am going to be finishing this off with a really nice glaze, I'm not going to season this with a rub, but I am going to hit it with some kosher salt and some fresh pepper. So at this point, usually what I would do is trust the legs with you know butcher twine, but actually this, um, the ranch that, I always buy my turkeys from a little kind of a butcher shop here, and they source their birds from a local ranch. They've just started putting on this plastic doohickey like you see on you know the more I guess, I don't know what you want to call it. Prolific brands, I guess. So we'll poke those through there and that should hold them. Now we're going to be hanging this and I'm going to be using the uh, Pit Barrel Cookers turkey hanger. So let me point this at the camera so you can see what we need to do here. So right here where the, you know, the neck bone comes out, you can see there's a, like a little hole kind of on top of that. So we need to put this end kind of running right up against that spine, push it in. Here we have it. This is what's going to hang this on the rebar. So just simply, there we go. It's hanging. Now, as far as the wings are concerned, we're gonna have this bird kicking back. So I'm just gonna tuck those wing tips behind its back here. Just keep it nice and tight. There we go. I'll just keep it nice and compact. Meet you guys at the pit barrel. Pit barrel is going. I'm going to add one small piece of orange wood to the mix, add a little bit of smoke. And if you've never used any of the citrus woods on fish or chicken, you got to try it. It's really good. Just nice, subtle, kind of a sweet flavor. Put that rebar in. Get that turkey down there. And there we go. Easy stuff. So 
I'm just cooking off temperature now. I will be putting a thermometer probe into the breast, and I'll be pulling this when it hits 165. Just before it hits that 165 mark, I will be pulling the turkey, and we're gonna glaze it with this really killer glaze that I'm gonna make for you right now. So in my saucepan, honey, and I softened this in the microwave or thinned it out in the microwave a little bit. Pork lard also melted it in the microwave. Pickling spice, orange zest, some more of that wild orange tea, salt, raw apple cider vinegar, black pepper, and Chinese five spice. Then on the stove it goes. Now I'm gonna stir in some tomato ketchup. We wanna bring this up to a quick boil, then immediately lower the temperature to a low, low simmer. Simmer for about 20 minutes or so, then we're gonna pull it off the heat, just allow those flavors to steep like a tea. So we are a little over four hours into this cook and we are at 158 degrees. I'm gonna pull the turkey out now, we're gonna hit it with that glaze. Smells amazing. Check that out. Look at that. So very important, if you need to do something, whether it's glazed ribs or whatever, but you need to tend to it away from the pit, just make sure you get the rebar and the lid back in place. If you don't, the temperatures are gonna rise way higher than you want them to. Here's that finished glaze. First, I'm gonna go ahead and get the bottom portion of this. All right, get these things off. Pit gloves back on. All right. The lid on. So there's no fire in there, which is good. And that's, again, one of the benefits of making sure you get the rebar back in place and lid on before you, you know, glaze something because, again, there's a lot of sugar going in here now. I am basically just going to leave this in here until that, that glaze gets nice and set. We're gonna pull it off. By then, I'll definitely be at that, you know, that target temperature. I'll hit it with an instant read just to make sure though, but it's just gonna be a few minutes from now. Like I said, a few minutes and this is done. That glaze is looking awesome. Just look at that. Norman Rockwell stuff right there. Turkey's coming in the house with me. I'm gonna tent it loosely with foil, let it rest a little bit, and then we'll slice it up and give you guys a try. So how good does this look? <laughs> Looks good. Smells awesome. Let's go ahead and carve out some breast meat here. Nice crisp skin, I like that. Look at that, very juicy. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is my favorite part of the turkey. I love it, just that that thick skin. Ugh. Thought you guys would want to see the presentation. Check that out. So turkey can be a very boring protein, but that's why, I mean, man, have some fun. This is uh, just a fun recipe. And again, you get that nice little treat, that pop of that citrusy and that little kind of a ginger burn. I mean, this is good, good stuff. And uh, it's when I was carving it up to plate it up, I have to admit that <laughs> I probably ate a good pound of, a pound of turkey meat. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you sub, ring the bell, blah, blah, blah. See you in the next video. Cheers.